2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Yeah, he's going to have some bullets coming his way throughout this entire matchup. Let's see if he can dodge them. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Second shot here on the first. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. And Bubba's got nothing but respect for an approach shot like that. He really flushed that one. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpar score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Length really isn't a feature, Rich, at the Detroit Golf Club here at the second. Bombs away. Bombs away. This is probably one of the strongest par fours on this golf course. Basically just a straightaway hole. Just take driver out and get with it. Second shot should be coming into this green with some kind of short to mid iron. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. from about 130 yards here. Yeah, nicely played. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 28 feet from the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. That'll sting a bit. Just a four-footer remaining. Nice little par putt here. That's well hold. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Big chance here. That's a lovely stroke. Had eyes for the hole the whole way. Before this putt was hit, they looked their playing partner in the eye and gave a signal. That was mean, but fair. Rich the third hole, not too dissimilar to the first. It's not in length, 390 yards from the back of the tee. Again, need to hit something about 280 yards to get it past the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Again, with a short iron in their hand, players are looking to make birdie. Good shot there. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. This one's dialed in. Oh, that's a ripper. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Par 5 fourth is a monster, 616 yards. This is a big par 5, isn't it? 
Tee shot, if you have any hope of reaching this green in two, must find the fairway, avoiding the fairway bunkers down the left-hand side. From there, you'd have to hit a really strong three-wood, moving it from right to left to try and chase it up onto this green. Laying it up short and right of that fairway bunker might be the play for most players, setting up a pretty easy pitch shot for their third. Nicely done. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. Ooh. Well, that was the number, no doubt about that. And now to Bubba Watson. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down. Oh, what a touch of class. Holes it from the sand. Let's return to live play now. This one to move into the top ten on the leaderboard. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. And with that, he'll move to three under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Rich, this... Uh, Par three fifth really resembles a Donald Ross, an elevated green, and you miss anywhere, and you're going to struggle to make your three. Absolutely. Reminds me a lot of something you'd see at Pinehurst, where there really isn't a flat spot anywhere around the edges of this green. So a quality iron shot is a must on this par three. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. And let's have another look at that one. What an amazing putt from way out. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. And now this is what can happen when you start up a rivalry with a player of this caliber, now pulling further ahead of his playing partner. What a shot to make. The par four sixth rich, plenty to navigate here. Only the longest players will be able to reach that fairway bunker down the left-hand side that sits about 300 yards off the tee. Most players want to hug the left-hand side as best they can as it opens up the green for the second shot. This is a wonderful par four. This shot from around 210 yards. Just two shots behind. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, this should affect the ball flight. Getting ready to play their third. Two strokes off the lead. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Sitting at one under the card. Should find the green here. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Okay, time to return to the action. And that should secure the par on this one. Trailing by a few shots after that hole.
Well, if you're not a couple under already through six holes here at Detroit Golf Club, you'll want to look to make a birdie at least at the par 5 seventh, measuring 555 yards. Yes, a hole that every player in this field must take advantage of. Just the fairway bunker down the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. You find the fairway, and all of a sudden, you're licking your chops. As you know, you can reach the green in two, setting up, hopefully, an eagle putt. Anything missing over in the left-hand bunker, though, could get a little dicey. This one might need to get down a little. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. And here we are with the third shot. Just three strokes back. Trying to get to five under with this putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Ooh, right by the hole. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. He finds himself tied for sixth. The eighth is a short par four, measuring just 360 yards, Rich. Decision to go for it or just to lay it back? I like going for it eight days a week, twice on Sunday, as you well know, Luke. So I'm going to go ahead, take out driver, and give her a whirl, hopefully avoiding the trees over on the right-hand side. Want to hit it over in the left-hand bunker or just shy of it, setting up a very simple pitch shot. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Currently five under for the day. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The opening nine finishes with a par three, Rich, around 200 yards. A strong hole indeed. Not much to the screen. Slightly downhill. Green is fairly flat until you get to the back left portion of it. There it starts running away from you awfully quickly. Anywhere in the right center of the green is a gorgeous tee shot. Always well, nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, just missed. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Birdied their last hole. Oh, yes! What a shot! And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. So as we head into the back nine, Rich, what are your thoughts on this player? Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Handy effort, that one. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. This one might need to sit. Ow! Hard to believe you could be that accurate from so far away. Now, current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. The 11th is the longest of the par threes on the course, Rich. Another strong one around 230 yards. Another long par three on the PGA Tour. It gets annoying after a while saying it, doesn't it, Luke? And I can promise you as a former player, it was annoying to play them as well. Just be sure not to take too much club on this par three and hit it long as this green tilts from back to front at a pretty good clip. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Yes, they've made it. 
Oh, they were just feeling this from the get-go. That is how you do it. Phenomenal stuff. What a putt. This putt's about four feet from the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. And now minus seven for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The 12 hole, Rich, uh, a good test, particularly with a tee shot. It is a demanding tee shot here. Want to avoid that fairway bunker to carry it. It's about 300 yards. Should you get past it, you have a mid iron into this par four that you'd love dearly to make par on. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 150 yards. Oh, well done. What's in front of them, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. The par for 13th is a short one, measuring just 385 yards, Ridge. Are you expecting players to go after this? A few of them will, but I'm not too sure I like that play. Players basically want to lay it up down the left-hand side, but don't get clumsy and knock it in those fairway bunkers. Anything out to the left-hand side is going to set up a very short wedge shot for their second. All the players will be thinking about making birdie on this par four. That was wonderfully done. Always nice to hold those for birdie. And now to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And after that effort, that's how it looks. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Just five holes remain in the round here, and there's some birdie opportunity starting with the par 5 14th. Yes, at 560 yards, you just want to make sure you avoid that bunker down the right hand side. From there, most players will be able to go for this green in two that is surrounded by water on the front and two deep bunkers over there in the right hand side. It's a wonderful opportunity to get some confidence over the last four holes by knocking it on in two. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Going with a three wood here. This is bold. Going for it in two. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Wow, what a save. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is up by three shots. Rich the 15th, a great little short par three. Really only a wedge off the tee, but gee, you need to be deadly accurate. That you do. Just 150 yards from the back tee. And again, a signature design by Donald Ross where everything on the edge of the green funnels away from it and down into a couple of bunkers left and right, one short and nothing in the back. Still, with just a wedge in your hand, players must be thinking birdie. Eight feet to the cup. 
What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Wonderful shot. Leading by three strokes now. All right, Rich, a couple of strong par fours remain, starting right here at 16. 16 is a wonderful par four, very difficult driving hole. You must keep it out of those three bunkers that dot both the right and left-hand side of the fairway. From there, you're gonna have a second shot that's fairly flat into, funny enough, a fairly flat green as well. Still, players are looking to make a solid four here, nothing worse. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Currently leading by a three. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for Birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. Rolling end to end is looking nice. And now to Bubba Watson. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That was a beauty. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. The last of the real scoring holes comes here at the penultimate hole, the 17th, the par five, stretching at 575 yards. Most players will be able to get it over the fairway bunker down the left-hand side, some 275 yards off the tee. And from there, it's a pretty straightforward second shot with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood. Those who like to lay up have to be mindful of the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. You can't get careless and knock it in there. Anywhere up and around the green, though, with your second shot, you should have a good opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Sitting at five under par in their round, in a share of ninth position. Wow, from a dodgy lie, Rich. How special was that? Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. And as we take a look at the leaderboard, this player is in top spot, and Justin Rose is second. The finishing hole, Rich, an old world classic. It is definitely that. Players are going to want to aim out to the right-hand side, away from the bunker and the water that is down the left-hand side. And from there, they're going to go in with a short to middle iron for their second to a green that tilts pretty significantly from back to front. This truly is a wonderful finishing hole. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got... I'd say a solid 145 here. That could play. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. Just didn't drop. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.
Well, that was a stout performance all day, and they're going to find themselves with the lead. Not bad whatsoever, but still just the opening day. Lots of golf left to play. However, it does give you a little boost of confidence going forward, knowing that right now you're at the top of your form, your game is good, and you're in a good space. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.